Yes, hi, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, good afternoon, off community. And um, we are now live for our webinar this afternoon. And this this is entitled um, the, uh, the Pioneer Webinar. Um, if you guys would remember the last, um, for those who were in the last webinar back in August, we have discussed um, an introduction to Payoneer and uh, we believe that it's the best time to do it again because every every month now we have like hundreds of new um, freelancers who wanted to to join or join the, the the off community but they they don't really have much um, knowledge kung ano ba yung mga ginawa natin before na and there are if you notice there are posts every now and then in the community about um pioneer and off now how we were able to help the freelancers and what what is this all about so there are questions i we as admins we have been receiving um a lot of questions Every time, or probably every day, pa nga, that ano ano ba yung pioneer and what what can we do for it or is is this um like another? Sometimes they they thought it's a job now that we are offering to people. So um we wanted to clear all the questions and that uh, this is recorded as well. So for everyone who will not be able to make it because of their time schedule um their jobs have to you know. They're, they're not available at the moment. We can have you guys listen to the recording. Um, but for everyone who's live right now, hello, and thank you so much for taking the time to attend this webinar. All right. So again, th um, this is CJ speaking. I'm the founder of Online Filipino Freelancers Group. And now we're, we're starting this webinar. So the main questions that we wanted to address today is what is really, uh, what is Pioneer back? Um, and how can it help you as a freelancer? All right, so I'll just go ahead and recap the um, the partnership that we had with, uh, or we still have with uh, with Pioneer. No? Um, all right, so last August two thousand seventeen, uh, we started this affiliation. Uh, Pioneer has been with us. No, uh, Pioneer has been helping the the entire freelancing community for for a couple of years now. But in terms of off and Pioneer tie up, we started it last August two thousand seventeen, and since then and up to now, we had thousands of freelancers who signed up using the unique link. Later on, I'll discuss more of this now. And um, all right, so our unique offer. I'll just run this through. Um, when you sign up using the affiliate link ng online Filipino freelancers, you get, you get to, um, so when you sign up and then you use that to withdraw the funds from any of your clients, um, just a minimum amount of $100, you get 75 bonus as, um, like a, Thank you for using the service, something like that. It's a reward from, from Payoneer. And then um, we also had since August till today, uh, when you earn $1,000 in three months, there's what we call the achievement unlocked that you can get another $100. That's why when you see the campaign and the post in off, there's a total of 175 and uh, I'd like to mention that this will only run until June 15, 2017. So let me take note of that on the webinar. Later on, as I've mentioned, we'll, deep, uh, we'll, we'll discuss this further. Um, okay, so I just wanted to run through that. All right, so ever since we had this um, bonuses from Payoneer, it's not every day that we have um, a company that's, you know, going to help the entire freelancing community. That's why we are very thankful for, for this partnership. And, and ever since that, um, we had hundreds of freelancers who have benefited from, from this program. And uh, for example, now, um, we have noted that the members have paid, uh, they bought table uh, laptop tables because of the 175 bonus that were given they even paid their tuition fees I was just I just wasn't able to copy paste the link from the off community but I remember people telling us this and that uh, there are so many ways that um, this partnership has helped a lot not on only monetarily but later on we will discuss 
how amazing the service and why we keep on campaigning, why we keep on endorsing, guys, this um, this payment method to you. All right. So, at yung mga promos natin na run from December to January. Imagine last De uh, December, uh, we had this. If you can see on the on the screen, na, uh, eto yung mga real na pinamigay. This these photos are taken. Na sila talaga yung mga items, yung laptop. Uh, it was the novel laptop, and then there are um, headsets, um, keyboards, tablets, and so there you go. And uh, monetary as well. We had the uh, we had the uh, February promo of we even give. Um, twenty-five dollars additional to those who will refer and use the affiliate link. Ayan. So, ito yung mga just a throwback of um of the promos that we had so far. And ito nga nung April, uh, we had the. Uh, and dami nating binibigay no April. We had the the Canon printer. We have PS4, and uh, ayan mga headsets, and of course Asus laptop. Ayan. So, ito siya. Ako, picture ko to before sending to to the grand winner kasi she wanted to see and very excited how it looks like. Ayan. There you go. And uh, last May, uh, last month, we had this, um, like the back to school promo for, for the moms and parents who are using Payoneer. We wanted to give back to the community by, you know, giving cash monetary in case na they need assistance for tuition or, um, Shopping or school supplies. There you go. So it's done. And now, before we discuss the June promo, I would like to turn the screen and um, this to, over to our country manager. Um, he will be the one to discuss deep, deeper you know, understanding what is Pioneer and how can it help you as a freelancer. Right. So I'll pass this now to Miguel Warren, the country manager of Pioneer. Hi, Migs. Hi, CJ. First off, thank you so much again for inviting me. It is always a pleasure to be uh, working with and uh, uh, discussing with the OFF community. Um, this is absolutely an amazing community of freelancers all over the Philippines. Um, and what I like about this, opportun uh, this opportunity really is that it, it puts me uh, in a position to learn a lot about the, the pains that freelancers uh, experience, um, the challenges of being a freelancer, um, and also the opportunities that there are still um, mm -hmm. to level up, I guess, as a freelancer yeah. here in the Philippines. And uh, what I'm going to do today is share just a little bit about uh, Payoneer, about the service, about how to use it, um, and also um, I'll, I can take some time toward the end to answer any questions if there are, uh, and also hopefully provide some guidance on some scenarios that you might come across when you're using Pioneer. But uh, again, I just wanted to uh, express my appreciation for working with uh, the OFF community. This is a two-way street. Uh, we've seen a lot of amazing success stories come out of the community. Um, the rewards that we have given have uh, have driven, I think, a lot of Filipinos to be able to understand more about uh, online payments and cross-border payments specifically. Uh, and that's my topic, right? Uh, how to get the most pesos for your freelance earnings. I hope that everyone can see my screen. Um, yes, we can. Yeah. Okay, great. So, if you are on this call, if you are in the off community, um, you're well aware of the effect that the internet is having um, on business, on digital commerce, and on uh, the ability actually for buyers and sellers, freelancers and customers to connect all over the world. You're well aware that uh, as a freelancer, most of the time you have a client that is based in a different country. As a freelancer, are actually a digital entrepreneur because you are providing either services or goods and you are doing it entirely online. And as a digital entrepreneur, you are part of a new breed of what I like to call um, 
OFW's version 2.0, right? Uh, OFW no longer means uh, overseas Filipino worker. Today, for me, contextually, it means online Filipino worker. And you have entrepreneurs that are going from being individual freelancers to BPO operators. People like Alan Donato, who has been using Payoneer for many, many years. He started on a site called Odesk as an individual freelancer, someone who was writing uh, content for international clients. He also did some tech support work, uh, some customer service work. Today, he's actually a BPO operator. He has 40 team members in his agency slash center in uh, Bulacan. I believe it's in Malolos, Bulacan. And he has clients all over the world. And uh, he uses marketplace platforms like Upwork, Freelancer, Fiverr, People Per Hour, Golance, to be able to grow his international business. And one of the key things that Alan discovered is that if he treats his freelancing work like a business, then he can grow it like a business as well. So today, as I mentioned, he has 40 employees. He's continuing to bring on more clients from all over the world, and he is scaling his global business. Another example of a very non-traditional entrepreneur, again, a digital entrepreneur, is uh, this gentleman here. His name is Fong Lin. I had the pleasure of meeting him when Payoneer did an event uh, in Manila last uh, October 2016. Fong Lin is a graphic designer turned online entrepreneur. He parlayed his uh, graphic design skills uh, into a global t-shirt selling business. How do you do this? Well, you can go to sites like Teespring, Gear Launch, Sunfrog, T-Chip. You can uh, create a t-shirt design, upload it on the platform, and then once you market it online and start selling shirts, these platforms will produce, manufacture, and ship the shirt to your clients all over the world. So gone are the days where you have to put up a factory, where you have to set up production and distribution and logistics to be able to sell um, items all over the world. Today, on sites like Teespring, you can become a global t-shirt seller with little to no upfront investment. Other digital entrepreneur examples are like uh, this gentleman here. His name is Jade Divivar. He's actually a Filipino that went from being a blogger to an affiliate marketer. He was also the winner of Payoneer's 2016 uh, Entrepreneurship Awards from the Philippines. Um, and he turned his blog, which was an Android blogging site called uh, Android, uh, Android Tips, I think it was called. And uh, now he uses um, sites like Tabula, Clickback, ShareSale, and Commission Junction to basically connect uh, advertisers and publishers, and he earns a commission off of every sale or every click uh, that uh, happens on his site. And I think that this is a uh, very, very interesting new line of business that Filipino freelancers should be aware of, because a lot of you I know are well familiar with digital marketing, well familiar with blogging, but haven't quite uh, looked at sites like Tabula and Commission Junction to be able to monetize the audience or to monetize the communities that you might be working with. And so I encourage you to take the example of Jade and look at these sorts of sites to see how you can further level up your freelance earnings. And of course, many digital entrepreneurs work with direct clients especially here in the Philippines where we have a number of freelancers that are into virtual assistance or customer support or social media management. Um, a lot of people have uh, gone the route of working with direct clients and in fact working with more than just one direct client. 
You might be a virtual assistant for a client in the US and in the UK and in Australia. You might be uh, managing the Amazon store of a seller that is based out of Europe. Or you might even be providing uh, 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 social media management to a small business in Australia. So a lot of digital entrepreneurs are also working with direct clients from all over the world these days. And this is really where Payoneer can help you with receiving payments from your international clients. Based out of the US, we are a cross-border business-to-business payments company that supports the e-commerce service provider and freelance uh, space. Uh, we handle 150 different currencies, uh, operate in 200 different countries, and process billions of dollars every year in payments volume. We have today more than 4 million users worldwide. Um, in terms of staff, actually this is now more than 1,000 uh, staff all over the world. And we work with thousands and thousands of marketplace and uh, big brand providers such as these, right? So uh, what I've done here is I've highlighted mostly the freelance uh, partner platforms who we work with, big names uh, from the likes of Freelancer to of course Upwork, Nanyang Designs, Fiverr, People Per Hour, Guru, Golance, and Topcoder. And so what this means is that if you as a freelancer have a client on any of these platforms, you can actually use Payoneer to receive funds from these sites. What I've done uh, in these uh, upcoming slides is I've actually taken two examples. So I've taken the example of Fiverr and Freelancer to show you a little bit about how you can use it on these sites. So for those of you uh, in the community that uh, are already using Fiverr or are considering using Fiverr, I would encourage you to check this out. I, was, I, re, uh, I participated actually in a Fiverr webinar about two weeks ago. Uh, and uh, this was a global webinar where we had freelancers from all over the world, including India, Pakistan, um, the Philippines, and Southeast Asia, uh, and, the, uh, and surrounding uh, countries in Southeast Asia, um, learn about the many opportunities on Fiverr to be able to find new clients. So there are actually more jobs on Fiverr than there are freelancers. I encourage you to check out this site. And if you want to, or if you are already using um, Fiverr and you want to use Payoneer, um, there are basically two options. You can order a Fiverr revenue card, which is powered by Payoneer, or you can use it to uh, uh, transfer your funds via bank transfer through Payoneer. You basically just go to your Fiverr revenue dashboard, click on one of those two icons, either the Fiverr revenue card or the bank transfer icon, and then you will receive an email with a link to follow that will take you through step by step how to set up your existing Payoneer account or to sign up for a new one. And the, the landing page looks a little bit like this. Right, so you'll, uh, I've taken the example here of the bank transfers landing page. Um, you can get started, click on get started to be able to link um, your existing Payoneer account to Fiverr. And so what that means is that if you already have a Payoneer account, uh, say you signed up uh, with the off link and you already have a Payoneer account um, and you're already using it for another site like Upwork, you can use that same Payoneer account on Fiverr by following the step-by-step -step process on this site. This next example here is with freelancer.com, another very, very popular platform here in the Philippines for freelancers. Um, the example that I'm using here is if you have an existing Payoneer account and you want to link it on Freelancer or to use it on Freelancer, um, this is a step-by-step. -step. So step one, log into your freelancer.com account and click on the withdraw money um, link in the payments menu. Step two, choose express withdrawal. Um, this, as it says, is the fastest method to withdraw your funds. 
Step three, choose USD as the currency of your account in Express Withdrawal. And then step four, log into your Payoneer account and find the details of your virtual US dollar receiving account. You'll find it by selecting Receive Global Payment Service on your Payoneer dashboard. And then step five, enter the details that you see there in the bank account information in the withdraw funds uh, section. And once you've filled in all that information, click withdraw funds and then uh, immediately you will be able to access the money in your freelancer account into your Payoneer account. I know that in the community, there are also a lot of freelancers that have direct clients. And so these next few slides provide uh, some uh, insight into how you can get paid by direct clients in three ways using Payoneer. So the first one is through our global payment service. So what is this? What this is, is a virtual international receiving account that allows your clients to conveniently send you a payment in their local currency, as if you had a bank account, for example, in the US, in Europe, in the UK, or in Japan. So imagine that you uh, have a virtual bank account, no minimum maintaining balance, no need to put money into the account, and your client can send you a local transfer in their country without having to send an international wire transfer. Your clients will love this because it will be very, very convenient for them. A special note on this payment method is that only companies in the US, Europe, UK, and Japan, and individuals in EU can use this method to send you payments. So if your client is an individual or is from a country that is not mentioned there, you can actually use the billing service to request a payment via credit card. So here's a step-by-step -step on the global payment service. Step one, log into Payoneer. Step two, select receive from the menu and then global payment service. And then there you should see many different currencies that uh, that you have in your dashboard and when you click on the currency you will see the details of your virtual bank account so in this example on this slide you will see that usd has been selected so if you have signed up for payoneer and you click on that usd link you will see that your virtual bank account is in bank of america and that the routing number is the number indicated there the account number will also be indicated the account type and the beneficiary name which is your name. So once you have those details, you can either email these details to your client and say, hey, you can pay me in my Bank of America account. Here's the routing number, here's my account number and my account type. And once your client receives this, he can go into his business banking account and then make that payment to you. The second option available to clients to pay you directly is eCheck. And I think that uh, what I'd like to do here is just to explain a little bit about what eCheck is. Um, eCheck is actually an electronic version of a paper check. So like a paper check, it draws funds from a checking account on the bank and then it uh, debits uh, the, the, the account of the payer and then credits your Payoneer account. Now, um, this is actually considered a next generation payment method in the US. A lot of small businesses in the US find this very, very convenient because instead of writing paper checks, they can now just enter their bank account details online and uh, Basically, a Payoneer will take care of the rest in terms of debiting their account and crediting the account of their uh, service provider or client. And the benefit, of course, to them is that it is convenient and it is very easy for them to do so. 
So in terms of um, how the freelancer can use this to receive payment, um, here's a step-by-step. -step. You just need to log into your Payoneer account, click on request a payment, enter the payment details and the payer details, and once this is complete, you just choose send. So as you can see in this screen, um, there's just uh, some information that you need to provide about your client when you request a payment. The name, the website, first name, last name, the email address, very important because that's where the payment link is going to be sent, uh, the country, and then the state. And then after that's done, your client will receive an email with a link that will say, hi, um, your freelance service provider would like to be paid through Payoneer. Here are the payment details. So he will see a payment request ID, a description of what the payment is for, and then the amount. And then when he clicks on view payment options, he will basically come into uh, a Payoneer secure landing page with a four-step payment process. So step one, the client will click on the link and then he will see the options available for payment. In this particular instance, since we're talking about e-check, client will select US Bank and click continue. And then he will see two options, pay now and pay later. Pay now is e-check payment. So when he chooses that, all he needs to do is enter um, his name, his bank name, the checking account number, and then the routing number of his bank. Step three, we will then ask him for some uh, information about his business. And then step four, once the payment is complete, he will receive a uh, confirmation that uh, the payment was uh, successfully submitted and is being reviewed. And then the third option for your direct clients to pay you is through credit or debit cards. Um, this is one of the methods I know that a lot of uh, uh, freelancers like because it's relatively fast and it's also relatively convenient for uh, the payer or the freelancer's client to use this method. And the process for requesting that payment is exactly the same as previous. You just log into your pay in your account, click receive, and then select request a payment. Again, you will enter the payment details and the payer details and then click send. And then for the client, um, it's also a very similar payment process except instead of US Bank, he will select credit card and then click continue. He will then enter the name on his credit card, the card number, and then the details about the card. And then again, he will enter some uh, information about himself. If he is a company, he will enter those details. If he was an individual, um, there will be less details to enter. And then he will uh, uh, see a confirmation page where he clicks submit, and then the payment will be completed for him. So here's a summary of the three options that I talked about global payment service, e-check, and credit card in terms of limits, time, fees, and relevant payers. So one of the things that is for us very exciting is that we have actually increased the limits for e-check and credit card. Um, the limits for these used to be only $2,000 for credit card and $3,000 for e-check, but uh, a few weeks back, we actually increased these limits. So especially for those freelancers or agencies, owners or small businesses that are needing to receive payments that are uh, significantly higher than $2,000 and $3,000 respectively, you can now use Payoneer um, to receive bigger payments instead of breaking it up into smaller payment requests.
So as I will be giving the, a copy of my presentation to the off admins, I won't go through the specifics of this, uh, this slide, but you can use it uh, as a reference to see what the fees are and the relevant payers are for the different payment options you have uh, when using Payoneer to get paid by direct clients. Another question that I get asked a lot is if Payoneer can be used with online payment gateways, basically services like to checkout and Stripe um, that uh, allow uh, someone that has a website to uh, receive payments from uh, direct uh, consumers in other countries and in other currencies. The answer is yes. So if you are uh, an online seller that uses Stripe or to checkout or Digital River and are receiving um, uh, funds from uh, international consumers in dollars, pounds, or, or euros, you can actually use that same payment service that I talked about earlier um, and provide it to Stripe or to checkout as a means for you to withdraw the funds uh, in dollars and then uh, benefit significantly from the higher foreign exchange rates that Payoneer will give you when you need to transfer from dollars to pesos. And this is a use case certainly that uh, a lot of people are starting to take advantage of because if you use competing services uh, with Stripe or to check out, the foreign exchange rates will be very, very high. And especially if you have a growing online uh, e-commerce site, Payoneer is a great option to select and, and we would definitely be happy to talk to you further about how you can save on foreign exchange and on fees when you are using uh, services such as these. And then once the funds are in your Payoneer account, so once you've withdrawn the funds from Fiverr or from Upwork or from Freelancer, or once you've uh, received payments from your direct clients using either the global payment services or e-check or credit cards. You can then access the funds via Payoneer's local bank withdrawal service, which is basically um, linked to any Philippine bank with a SWIFT code. I believe there are about 70 or 80 local banks that have a SWIFT code and that can be used uh, to transfer funds from Payoneer. There are no transfer fees associated with this option and most of our freelancers that use the service in the Philippines uh, have an experience of being able to see the funds in your bank account in anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. Very, very fast. And unlike competing services where the minimum to withdraw funds is 7,500 pesos, um, Payoneer, the minimum to withdraw is only $50 or 2,500 pesos and it's free to withdraw to bank. If you have funds in your Payoneer account, you can also choose to opt in for a Payoneer prepaid uh, MasterCard. Um, this again, I'd like to emphasize is an optional element. Payoneer uh, used to have this as a mandatory element to use the service, but starting from April in 2016, we shifted to make the card purely optional. And uh, I think that this is good because now it means that when you sign up for Payoneer, it's absolutely free. There are no fees and it's very, very, um, it's very, very useful and convenient for the freelancer because they can start using the account immediately instead of waiting for the card to arrive uh, from abroad and not being able to right away utilize Payoneer on freelance marketplaces or with direct clients. I, al I always suggest that you use uh, the withdraw to bank uh, instead of the card when accessing cash or needing to use cash because the card, when you use it in ATMs, the ATM provider, not Payoneer, will charge you 200 pesos for each withdrawal. So if you are needing to withdraw big amounts um, and you need to do several transactions in the ATM, that's going to be 200 pesos per um, transaction. So uh, not a very optimal way to access the payments. 
So I suggest instead of uh, using the card for cash, use the card online or use the card in store uh, so that um, the merchant will be the one responsible for the fees and you won't need to pay the 200 pesos to access the cash. Uh, I suggest that you only use the card if you want the card for absolute emergencies, like for example on the weekend if uh, you, you, need, you need funds immediately and you have funds when you're paying your account and uh, the funds are not yet in your bank account. This for me is the best way to access the funds on your pay in your account. Another way that you can access the funds is to actually make a payment to another person that has a pay. So what this means is that you can send money free of charge for a minimum of fifty dollars uh, for each transfer, and this person can be anywhere in the world. So if you have a business partner um, in uh, a different country or in a different part of the Philippines, you can send him a payment using Payoneer free of charge. Similarly, if you're working with someone, say an agency owner, and he needs to send you money, he can use Payoneer to send you money, Payoneer to Payoneer, free of charge for you and for him. So here's a quick summary of the Payoneer product. Um, and I like to say that it's you know very easy to remember. Four great ways to get paid, four ways to use your earnings. So whether you are earning from a marketplace, such as a freelance marketplace, or you are selling online, you can use Payoneer at thousands of different uh, partner platforms. If you have direct clients, we offer the billing service, which again, um, you can use to receive credit card or e-check payments. And also our global receiving accounts. These are the virtual bank accounts that I talked about earlier. And if you want to receive payments from someone else uh, who has a pay in your account, you can also receive it through our in-network payments platform. And then once you have funds in your pay in your account, you can access them also in four great ways. Number one, as I mentioned, local bank withdrawal. Uh, number two, you can get an optional card and withdraw cash at an ATM. Number three, you can use that card online and in store. And number four, if you have funds, you can also make a payment to another pay in your account holder. So what's in it for you? Um, I just wanted again to talk about why Payoneer is so beneficial to Filipino freelancers is because we give you the lowest fees and the highest foreign exchange amongst um, a lot of different companies. Uh, what this is here, or what you're looking at right now, is an excerpt from a study called Unveiling the True Cost of Cross-Border B2B Payments, which was released by a company called Let's Talk to Payments back in 2016. And what this company actually did was they compared three different payment methods for a $1,000 business payment coming from the US to the Philippines. And three different options were looked at. So it was bank, PayPal, and Payoneer. And as you can see in this slide, after fees, conversion, and Forex, Payoneer gave the most pesos for that $1,000 that was transacted um, from the US to the Philippines. And let's look at that difference. No? So that difference, and this was back in 2016, so I think $1 was equal to about 45 or 46 pesos. The difference between option one, option three is about 2,500 uh, pesos, right? That 2,500 pesos, guys, is about 15 premium Starbucks drinks. So on $1,000, you could save up to 2,500 pesos and buy you and all your friends Starbucks. And that's only on $1,000, right? What if it was 5,000? I actually do know a lot of freelancers here in the Philippines that are earning more than $5,000 a month. Guys, on $5,000, that's like 12,700 pesos. That's the cost already of your monthly car loan. And I think you know where this is going, right? That's on $5,000. What if it was $10,000? If you're an agency owner here in the Philippines, you're definitely earning or transacting more than $10,000 a month. And guys, on $10,000, that's 25,500 pesos or 
the monthly home loan that you could be paying to the bank. So if it's one thing that I want to leave with you today, it's the difference that your cross-border payment provider can spell in terms of Starbucks, in terms of your monthly car loan, or even in terms of your monthly housing loan. One, one agency owner actually told me that with the savings that we provided him, he was actually able to save the rental in one of his uh, centers. So if you aren't already using Payoneer, I suggest you click on the off link and sign up right now and, and see for yourself the difference that you will get in terms of more pesos for the freelance earnings that you, you have. I also encourage you to look at the Payoneer blog. This is a great resource for learning more about how to use the Payoneer service. Uh, there are also industry tips and tricks, how to level up your freelancing business, um, other customer success stories, and other inspirational content that will help you uh, with your online business. We also have a Facebook page, uh, a Twitter page, and a LinkedIn page, which I encourage you to check out. So uh, before I wrap up my session, um, I'm not going to go through this part uh, in detail, but I will provide to the admins uh, a list of frequently asked questions, both on the client side and on the freelancer side for um, Payoneer because I know that a lot of people sometimes have questions about, oh, why was my client asked to provide an ID or documentation? Why was my payment declined? I, I didn't, you know, I, I, how, how can a transaction be reversed, if ever? Um, this list here could provide some uh, initial uh, answers to some of these questions, both for payers and clients, and for payees slash freelancers about why Payoneer needs to do these things to protect your payment, to ensure um, that there is no fraud or there is no um, risk to you or to your client, and to make sure that we are operating within the terms of service that we, as a regulated financial services company, uh, need to adhere to to continue providing payments uh, for all of our business partners and our clients all over the world. So that's pretty much it, CJ. All right. Thank you so much, Migs, for all those. And um, as always, no, every time that you're going to have a webinar with, with us, um, talagang may natututunan akong bago. <laughs> so thank you also for, um, for leaving. Yeah. Oh, okay. Leaving Sorry. Leaving. I lost you there for a second. Out there, sorry. So again, thank you, Migs, um, for for sharing all this with us, and um, we appreciate that you're gonna leave the the slides to to us. So every time that uh, we're gonna have like questions or um, I'm sorry, CJ, are you still there? Can you hear me properly? Like, yes, now I can hear you. There oh, you okay. go. Sorry, all sorry right. about that. All right, no worries. Because it's raining as well, so probably my connection. <laughs> Ayan. So thank you again, Migs. Um, for, I'm sorry, for staying I, you might have lost, I might have lost you again, CJ. Oh, just give me one, one second, Migs. CJ? Can um, you hear me, Migs? Uh, uh, am I good? Or I think I might have lost you again. Paolo? Yeah, everything is green. Ah, okay, okay. All right, so... There, um, yun. I, I just wanted to say thank you, Migs, for 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 uh, for staying with us for the entire hour, in in our webinar. Um, but but in any case, um, Paolo, that I'm I'm not okay with the connection. Pagka Shopee, just just let me know as well. Hi. Okay, now I hear you. You're very okay. welcome, CJ. All right, you're welcome, Migs. Um, guys, uh, Migs cannot stay for so long because uh, he has another commitment, um, a very important one as well. So we'd would like to thank Migs again, and uh, I guess he will hop off for for now. The questions, um, I can answer, and also Simon Paolo can answer in behalf of Migs and Payoneer. All right, so thank you, Migs. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Migs.
uh, do what you're doing because I love the community and I think that there are many things that Pioneer can do with the off community all over the Philippines. I actually look forward to meeting more people that are in the community, you know, rather than just webinars, you know, I look forward to add, uh, actually face-to-face -face events, right, and meetups so that uh, we get a chance to actually meet each other and, and talk more about online business. That's right, right. Thank you so much again. Thank you, Meg. So definitely, we're going to have more uh, meetups and face-to-face -face, um, conference and, you know, um, discussions about Pioneer and all. All right, so we won't take so much of your time anymore, Migs. I know may lakad ka pa, and uh, that's also an important one. So we'll we'll take it from here. Thank you okay. so much, Migs. Salamat, Thank you. everyone. Bye. Thank Happy you. weekend. Happy weekend. Bye. All right. So I think uh, I'm not sure if we're still gonna record this part, um, Simon. But there you go. Uh, we have heard um, that's Migs or Miguel Warren, the, the country manager of Pioneer Mga Ka-Off. So um, at this point, uh, maybe I can give the floor naman to, to Simon, our co-founder. Now he can discuss uh, more about Pioneer. Um, he's been the he's been using the, the service for for six or seven years now. So. That's why most of the time when, when you guys ask me questions, um, what's Pioneer or what is all about it, there's there's a better person who can explain it further um, than I can. So that's why I always write you to him. So, Paolo, if you are okay now, I can I can transfer the um, the presentation over to you. Maybe we can recap soon or if you have any um, clarifications or questions or to answer most of the um, frequently asked questions of the community. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, no, just keep the presentation on you. I don't have any slides anyway. But uh, yeah. let me unmute everyone. So, kung sino man may question, uh, mag-raise lang kayo or uh, just mute yourself if not para walang masyadong background noise. Let me just unmute everyone. Okay, uh, so anyway, I'd just like to make a recap uh, regarding our affiliate program. Yung, yung history lang when we started uh, from August 2016 up till date, we are just actually, how much is this? Uh, 400 people shy of, uh, we're almost 10,000. Uh, basically so we're only 400 people shy of uh, signups on the program on Payoneer so that's really big and 10,000 is just a mere portion like 20 no yeah it's 20 percent lang uh, ng total community natin so there's a, still a lot more people who I'm not sure if you're not yet aware of Payoneer or you haven't started Payoneer pero Ito lang masasabi ko regarding Payoneer. I've been using it since 2009, well, late 2008. And uh, up until now, I'm still reaping the rewards of using Payoneer itself kasi mas, mas malaki yung nakoconvert naku, ko uh, from dollar to peso. And since nung nilunch nga nila yung optional na lang ang card, mas malaki pa yung nasave ko because I can... Uh, I can basically deposit directly my my earnings to my peso account so ano bang benefits na makukuha natin on signing up on ops affiliate account with the uh, payneer so set aside na lang natin plus factor lang talaga kasi yung yung bonuses like it's an added perk on uh, on signing up on payneer but ano ba talaga yung long term uh, benefit niya na makukuha natin uh, if we use Payoneer instead of uh, any other payment solution. Uh, the thing about is yung word na cross-border payment solution. So, kahit pagbalibalik ta rin man natin ang mundo, i-compare ko yung Payoneer sa PayPal or uh, LFT or the direct bank transfer. Payoneer lang talaga nagbibigay ng pinakamalaking conversion because this is their expertise. So, I don't know if anyone can contest, but so far, if I can compare yeah, the three, uh, Payoneer transfer still gives the best or the most uh, 
peso conversion uh, to our uh, dollar earnings. So that's something that we are we can reap the rewards for a long term. For me, since 2009 up until now, so ang laki nung nakukuha ko or sa sa earnings ko. Very less ang uh, on charges like $2. It's $2 is just a small amount to pay uh, compared sa sa ibang payment solution, especially PayPal. Alam alam nating lahat PayPal napaka daming <laughs> charges from conversion to transfers and everything. So I mean that's that's the benefit that we get from uh, from paying here. And uh, let me add on this: uh, since we have our affiliate program, Off has an affiliate program with Payneer. Uh, the best thing about it is that, alam naman natin, minsan talaga matagal sumagot ang customer service, especially sa email. That's the reason why I am here, CJ is here, the admins also are helping us on addressing your concerns. So instead of uh, you jumping on the customer service or let's say you already asked customer service and you still haven't heard anything, that we're the front line for off. So that's the best thing about it. And uh, what else? What uh, pa mga mga beta yes? CJ. Ayun. I ah, thought sorry. Na off na, na. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Um. I. <laughs> ayun. So great. Um. That's that's another um comparison. No, that we can attest. To, to everyone um like Simon mentioned it's um the bonuses are just additional to what what um pioneer can offer us and uh, if you saw the screenshots kanina and I'm I'm glad that um Migs will will send the the presentation over to us so pwede natin siyang himay himayen if if you're from uh, if you're having, if you have a direct client, ganito siya gawin. So there are three ways pala on how to to get paid using um, Payoneer. So there, no. Um, as we go along, we can um, we can answer more of your questions with the screenshots that Payoneer provided for us. So there you go. It's been an an, an hour now that we have um, running this webinar. Uh, I I believe that most of the questions, naman, that um, the frequently asked questions are always provided i mean the answers one and one pang when when you send pm to to simon and me we always uh, make sure that we answer your question so i guess um okay na on my on my end simon do you have any more no, 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 no. to share with us uh, yes i have one more thing to add okay. kasi nangyayari to recently uh, sa community and not just with us uh, sa iba pa if you have seen what's been happening right now sa bpi Previously, mm. ng yung downtimes then ng GCash and ng PayPal, and right. you know, wala naman perfect system, guys. So the thing about is, it will happen. Downtimes will happen. Technical error will happen. Human error might happen. But the thing is, uh, dito kami. And the best thing about Payoneer, even though we have had uh, experience some downtimes or delays, is for the record, since we started, wala pang, wala pang member or wala pang uh, Payoneer user na nagka-issue na hindi na-resolve. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we just need to accept the fact that sometimes really uh, shit happens. But uh, the fact mm -hmm. still remains is that there will be no page unturned and every problem will be resolved. So, I hope uh, for everyone to uh, continue using Payoneer and continue advocating Payoneer. We will have, we will still have all our monthly promos uh, for all off members uh, who's uh, joining Payneer and advocating uh, our off affiliate program to everyone. All right, so that's a very wonderful part. Now, um, the good thing is that you have us um, off admins. Because, for example, nag down yung PayPal. For example, no. Wala namang ibang nagmimediate in your behalf, so you just have to contact support yourself, no. But in terms of pioneer, kasi nandito kami to to really escalate. And you've seen Paolo, you Simon Paolo. Now you've seen him really um, escalating every issue, every personal issues in your sa sa mga bosses. So thank you so much as well for for you know for trusting us on this. Um, I'm just gonna showing this 
I'm just gonna show the, the June promo here because this webinar will be recorded and we will use this for the months to come. So I'm not gonna deep dive on June promo because it will pass no the, this promo uh -huh. soon. Um but after June 15, the um as of this date now, um the last agreement that we had with Payoneer is that just go ahead and sign up now until June 15 your $175 bonus and then um after that it will be 75 so the achievement unlocked will be removed but as um, Simon mentioned we will still continue with the uh, with the promos that we have hangat kakayanin namin ano na we can we can still provide with the uh, with the community so with that um i wanted to say thank you as well the other off admins are with us today they're just shy to, to introduce themselves but we're full force so thank you so much everyone this will be recorded and we will be um posting this to our youtube channel for everyone who missed it and who wants to review um the different ways on how you can earn as a freelancer and this is not the last time that we're gonna hear from bayonier we have we're gonna have more um, in-depth webinar as we go along all right so thank you in behalf of all the admins thank you so much and have a wonderful afternoon bye guys thank you guys thank you cj thanks bye bye